New analysis just confirmed it. 3i Atlas rotates every 7.1 hours, post perihelion, measured two different ways, both methods agree, and the rotation axis aligned with the Sun 3i Atlas direction to within 20 degrees. That alignment was set in interstellar space, long before the Sun's gravity could influence it. The probability of that happening randomly? 1.5 to 6%. Subscribe right now. Turn on notifications. Because what I'm about to show you is how the rotation period was measured and why the alignment matters. So here's how we know the rotation period. Two independent measurement techniques, both analyzing different aspects of 3i Atlas's behavior. Method one, jet wobble tracking. Using Hubble images from November 20th to December 27th, 2025, researchers applied the larsen sekinina rotational gradient filter. So that removes the symmetric coma and reveals jet structures. What they found, the anti-sunward jet wobbles in position angle by plus 20 degrees, back and forth, periodically. Why? Because the jet emanates from a specific location on the rotating nucleus. As the nucleus spins, the jet sweeps around the rotation axis like a lighthouse beam. By tracking how the jet's position angle changes over time, you measure the rotation period. Result. 7.20 hours plus or minus 0.05 hours. Method 2. Brightness variations. Using ground-based observations from a 0.25 meter telescope in Italy between December 9th and 22nd, researchers tracked total brightness changes. As the nucleus rotates, the dominant outflow direction sweeps around. That modulates the column density of dust along our line of sight. More dust in view? Brighter? Less dust? Dimmer. The brightness varies by plus it 30%, periodically. Result, 7136 hours plus or minus 0.01 hours, two completely independent methods, both measuring the same underlying rotation, and the periods agree within measurement uncertainty. Combined conclusion, 7.1 hour rotation period post perihelion. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Before perihelion, the rotation period measured from brightness variations was 16 to 17 hours, about twice as long. After perihelion, 7.1 hours from brightness variations. Did the nucleus suddenly start spinning faster? No. What changed was the number of active jets. The rotation axis is nearly aligned with the Sun 3i Atlas direction. Before perihelion, only one rotation pole was illuminated, that created one dominant jet. After perihelion, the geometry changed. Both rotation poles became illuminated. That triggered a second active jet, two jets modulating brightness instead of one. Same rotation period, 7.1 hours, but the brightness now peaks twice per rotation instead of once. That doubles the frequency of brightness variations without changing the actual spin rate. The jet wobble period, measured from position angle tracking, stayed consistent. 7.74 hours before perihelion, 7.20 hours after. Within measurement uncertainty, that's the same, so the nucleus rotates once every 7.1 hours, before and after perihelion. What changed was the illumination pattern creating multiple active regions. Now let's talk about the rotation axis alignment, the jet's precess around the rotation axis. By averaging their position angles, researchers determined the rotation axis points at about 270 degrees on the sky. The Sun 3i Atlas axis, 290 degrees. That's a 20 degree offset well within alignment, and here's the problem. The rotation axis was set in interstellar space, long before 3i Atlas entered our solar system. Random tumbling in the interstellar medium should produce random rotation axis orientations. The probability of that axis aligning with the Sun 3i Atlas direction to within 20 degrees? 1.5 to 6 percent. 1 in 20 to 1 in 70. Not impossible, but unlikely. Add that to the other geometric coincidences. Trajectory aligned with the ecliptic to within 5 degrees. Closest approach to Mars at 0.5. 22 AU, passing Earth at 1.8 AU, reaching Jupiter at exactly the hill radius. Each alignment has percent level probability. Combined, the odds drop rapidly. So here's what happens in about a week. January 22nd, 2026. 
Opposition. Earth passes between the Sun and 3I Atlas at 0.69 degree phase angle. The anti-sunward jet nearly disappears from view. Why? Because it's pointing away from us, toward the Sun behind 3I Atlas. But the sunward anti-tail jet, it points directly at Earth. We'll be looking straight down the barrel of the jet that's been extending 400,000 kilometers toward the Sun. And because the rotation period is 7.1 hours, we'll watch that jet sweep around the rotation axis, wobbling by plus 20 degrees over a complete rotation cycle. If brightness variations follow the same pattern post-opposition as they did post-perihelion, we should see plus 30% fluctuations every 7.1 hours. That's measurable, trackable, and it tells us the rotation state remains stable through perihelion and opposition. No fragmentation, no breakup. Just coherent rotation with persistent jet activity. So here's where we are. 7.1 hour rotation period confirmed by two independent methods. Jet wobble and brightness variations both measuring the same underlying spin. Rotation axis aligned with the Sun 3i Atlas direction to within 20 degrees. Probability 1.5 to 6%. And on January 22nd, opposition puts us directly in line with the sunward anti-tail jet. If you want to follow this story as opposition observations come back, if you want to see whether the rotation stays stable and what the anti-tail reveals when pointing at us, subscribe and turn on notifications. Because 7.1 hours is fast enough to track changes within a single night of observation. And January 22nd gives us the geometry to see features we've never seen before. I'll see you in the next one.